In case you guys don't know, I'm actually traveling at the moment. As you can see, I am in Canada. It's pretty obvious. I'm actually staying in a hotel room and about a year ago, I watched this viral video, which was basically food hacks that people use to make foods in a hotel room. When you don't have the appliances, you sort of come up with ways to cook your everyday foods in a place in which you literally don't have a kitchen. Moving on to our first hack, we're actually going to be using a coffee machine, which is actually very realistic because a lot of hotel rooms do have coffee machines, except this hack basically says that you can cook pancakes the same way you can make them at home, except you can cook them in a coffee machine. I find this very hard to believe. I'm just going to go on and say that I think a lot of these are basically BS. I don't think this is actually going to work, but I guess that's why these videos exist because I would never lie to you. According to the instructions, the first thing you want to do is sort of get rid of this glass thing because we don't really need that for this recipe. I love how I called it a recipe as if this is actually going to work. So we're gonna need some of this um, foil paper. So I'm gonna grab the coffee machine and we're gonna place this basically on top of like the heating um, area. I've also got some pancake mix. I actually made this um, from a pack. So we're gonna spray this with a little bit of um, canola oil. This is so weird. So we switch on the coffee machine and I don't really know. Like, do we just pour the pancakes already or do we wait a little bit? I don't think I thought about this entirely because how are we supposed to flip it? How is this supposed to cook on the other side? Like that actually doesn't make any sense. I think it's actually cooking and it's only been like 10 seconds because I can see little bubbles. Surprisingly, it's only been like a minute, not even two minutes and it's time to flip it because I'm pretty sure it's cooked on the other side and whoever, oh, that's really hot. Whoever came up with this didn't think the whole process through because this is literally impossible to flip like how am i supposed to flip that it kind of looks like something that you'd make in an easy bake oven it's got like this weird like play-doh texture what i'm gonna do is place this on top and just put it back in our hotel room easy bake oven that's basically what this is if someone walked in right now they'd probably think i'm doing drugs or something weird when in reality i'm making pancakes in a coffee machine I'm guessing the pancake's ready, and this was actually a lot of work for one tiny pancake, but if this is any good, then I guess this is worth it. Okay, the texture on top, I'm not sure if you can see that. It actually does look like a pancake. It feels like it's been steamed instead of like fried, so it's been like 15 minutes, and the second pancake is literally not going anywhere. I don't know if it's the coffee machine, but this one is still doughy. I don't really know how I feel about this. I'm gonna try the first pancake, but I don't think this is doable. It's very doughy. If maybe you're the only person in the world who likes doughy pancakes, then you would probably love this if you like them practically raw. And not even mentioning that the second one didn't even cook. So I'm gonna say that I don't think this is a very good way of making pancakes. If you're staying in a hotel room, your easiest way would probably be to just go to like a breakfast place, any supermarket. I mean, any pancakes are better than these ones. For these next hotel food hack we're actually going to be using one of the most common appliances that you get in a hotel room which is a hair dryer listen to how insane this sounds basically we're going to be using a hair dryer to melt some chocolate and also to toast some marshmallows so essentially we're going to be using a hair dryer to make some s'mores if you don't know what s'mores are i think this is like something that is traditional in like america usually you make these when you go camping and it's basically something 
thing that you do in like an open fire but obviously if you're in a hotel room you have to improvise and according to this food hack it's actually doable with a hair dryer I don't think this is going to taste any similar to the real deal but we're gonna see what happens so we got some of the graham crackers and then we need like pieces of chocolate on top and I'm using milk chocolate because I don't know any other type of chocolate I feel like I should give you guys a close-up of this I'm gonna zoom in on these and I'm gonna put the marshmallows on top and I'm ready for some action somehow That's a very weak hair dryer. I think the hair dryer will actually melt the chocolate. I do find it hard to believe that this will toast the marshmallows, which is what the images on like Pinterest claim. Should I remove this gadget or should we increase the precision? No! All the chocolate just went everywhere and the marshmallow literally didn't even melt. It's a little soft in the center, but like the outside just sort of gets still like spongy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to just soften up these marshmallows first and then build the whole thing after. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> Let's try again. Come on, Ugh. stick together. Literally me to every pair of socks I've ever owned. Oh my God, I swear it's been like 20 minutes. How? It's soft enough. Oh, it smells like fire. Now you're soft, everything is going wrong here and I hate every second of it. So this goes in here, this goes in here. And there we go. <laughs> this is just a hot mess. I mean, I don't even know how well you guys can see it. This is also sticking to everything. Do I even have to say anything about this one? I mean, I don't approve of this. I made a mess. The Pinterest photos made it look like these marshmallows were going to be toasty and delicious and this whole thing was going to be so clean. In reality, you are about to get fined by the hotel room you're staying at because there's no way you can do this without destroying the hair dryer. But I mean, I did manage to melt down the marshmallow and the chocolate in the end. Let's move on to the next one and I hope you guys are ready for some breakfast. So we're gonna be using an iron and using these, we're actually gonna be able to cook some bacon and then you can also cook some toast or a grilled cheese sandwich. On the video that I actually watched, I think as a surface, they used just an ironing board and they covered it in this foil paper. But obviously, if you're staying in a hotel room, like you wanna be safe. So I found this like surface. Hopefully, I'm not going to burn anything and when it comes the actual iron we also have to cover it because otherwise there's gonna be bacon grease I already don't smell great and if I start smelling like bacon actually that's probably gonna make people like me more and honestly in case you haven't read my comments I could really use that lately so we're gonna cover this up oh this is gonna get so hot I'm probably gonna burn my hands so there you go guys it's very Crafty, trashy, improvised. Uh, this is also the words that I'd use to describe my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna switch this on because I haven't done it yet. So we're gonna start with the bacon. Ooh, that actually smells really good. This is a very long piece of bacon. Look at that. This is the only kind of like ironing that I would ever do. So mom, if you're watching this video, don't get any ideas. Do you guys see that? It's smoking. Is this meant to happen? Let's just get into it. I was not expecting that sound. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna place it on top of the whole thing for a little bit longer. Truly, it smells incredible, so 
looking forward to see what happens when we lift this up. One of the things you do have to watch out for is like your smoke alarm if you're actually trying this in a hotel room because that's the only thing that I'm very concerned about at the moment. Please don't stick. Oh my god. Please tell me that looks good. Oh no. I am officially obsessed with this hack. Look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful, like crispy, like piece of bacon? It will be interesting to see what happens with the bread. Like, should we make like a cheese toasty? This time around, we're using two slices of cheese with two slices of bread. I'm gonna spray the bread a little bit with some oil because there's no grease in it. This is the content that I love making. Okay, why is it not making any sound? Oh my god, I don't think this is meant to happen. <laughs> I don't want to be dramatic, but I feel like this is not going <laughs> according to plan. I mean, it's been like three minutes and it's sticking too much. Oh shoot. I'm too lazy for this. Might as well just go directly. Wow, that is crispy for sure. But also, I want to see how melted the cheese actually is. That is very underwhelming. Okay, that's not too bad. I think this is great. I think it works. I think out of all the hacks we've tried, this one made very quick, very delicious bacon. Look at the color on these. Like, they actually look like you made them at home in a toasty maker. So I'm gonna say this is 100% approved. And also, I'm gonna wash this and I'm gonna carry on using this. I don't think this next one is a great idea because we are going to attempt to make popcorn using hair straighteners. I'm also going to be very freaked out because I hate the sound of corn popping. It's like one of the things that it makes me terrified. I read about this in a food blog and apparently if you put like the corn kernel, I think that's what you call it, on the hair straighteners, the heat of this is going to transform it into popcorn. It is a wild claim, but also if you're stuck in a hotel room and you're that desperate, I can see someone actually trying this. And I can also see that it could have maybe worked. So I don't know exactly what type of corn they used for the blog post because they didn't specify. So I got some microwave popcorn and also some of the regular that you make in like a frying pan. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Holy freaking schnitzel, I'm gonna be so scared. How many should we place? Should we put one, two, three? Oops. Okay, we lost two. Okay, we've got one popcorn left. Do you guys see that little popcorn piece right there? I feel a lot of pressure here. I keep on dropping them. I feel like this is not working. So I'm gonna move the camera and just let this sit here for a little bit and see if it's going to work. This time around, I'm going to push this up and I'm gonna give it some time. I'm actually going to wait. I'm gonna press it down. I wish I could just put something on here. How long does it take for corn to pop? My web search turns something up for how long does it take for corn to pop? Have a look. I didn't mean for corn to pop. I mean, how long does it take for corn to pop? <laughs> no! Here's what I found on the web for how long does it take for corn to pop? It's not corn to pop, no one says that. This is ruined anyways. Let's boost this up. I tried on with the microwave popcorn and as you can see, one of them actually popped. Hey, we made one tiny little popcorn. Oh! Oh, that worked though, didn't it? It's the tiniest, smallest, like little popcorn. I feel like they work if you put them one at a time. That was the most underwhelming. I'm getting so mad at this video because out of this video, the only thing I've got so far was a cheese toasty and some bacon. I don't even get any popcorn. This is honestly infuriating. I mean, we do get like one, two, three, 
four and one that's on the floor. We've got five pieces of popcorn and 50 minutes of my life that I will never get back. Hold on to your seats guys because this hack is wild and he claims that he can cook a full meal like a proper solid meal in a coffee machine so I'm glad we didn't ruin the coffee machine from earlier but I'm also scared because we're going to be cooking with some raw fish. I get it, if you're staying in a hotel room, especially for many days, you start to crave like actual food because when I was traveling for the whole of last year, I did crave some cooking and sometimes I didn't have a kitchen in my hotel rooms and it was a really frustrating situation. I would still never attempt to cook fish, raw fish, in a coffee maker. One of us has to be stupid enough to actually give it a try and that would be me. So according to this hack the first step is to just remove um, you know the glass bowl where the coffee usually goes and in here we're going to use a little bit of canola oil or any kind of like grease. I think they used some olive oil on the one that I saw and this is wild but we're gonna add the raw fish in the coffee maker Wow. <laughs> I mean, we've got serious issues, but we are not crazy. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit more canola oil because... So I think that's it for the first step. So we're gonna put this back in the coffee machine. And like, I'm fully aware that this is like weird, but just keep up with me. Like, hopefully this is going to work. I have a good feeling about this one, so I'm feeling positive. If you own a coffee maker, chances are you also own some of these I think they're called coffee filters. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I know what this is because I'm from a different time in which coffee comes in pods. So, <laughs> on top of the coffee machine, we put the filter in. And this is when it starts to become really weird, even more than before. So we're gonna grab some broccoli and also some carrots, but obviously you can use any vegetable you want. Just make sure it's like smaller pieces, that's the only thing. And then we're gonna add that on top of the coffee filter. And what's gonna happen is the vegetables are going to steam like on the coffee filter bit and then the water is gonna start dripping and it's going to like cook the fish very slowly. So according to the hack, what happens is the fish will be very flavorful because not only it will get all the flavor and the nutrients from the vegetables but also it will cook very slowly which is going to make it soft and nice I guess and last but not least a coffee machine doesn't work without water so there we go and I think that's it <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen here No, all my seasoning! Why is it getting washed? I feel like we shouldn't do this, but I'm really curious to see what happens there. The good news is that I think I figured out how these coffee machines work and I think it actually makes sense and I think this might be cooked but the bad news is you never know what to expect with these videos so Ooh, this is very hot Hey, this is actually very practical <laughs> like it absorbs all the excess water what else could you ask for? the one thing we really truly want to know is if this fish is going to be cooked or not. Oh, there we go. It is healthy looking, but if you're truly craving like a homemade meal at a hotel, this is 100% doable. Okay, the vegetables are approved. Let's see the fish. I don't eat fish very often. I think it's still a little bit soft in the center, but I think that's exactly how we want this fish to be because, I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend that I know how to appreciate fish because I don't, but honestly, it tastes all right. This final hack is 100% approved. The only thing is, I wouldn't want to eat this. I would still prefer to order Domino's into my hotel room. But if you're feeling healthy and you really want to cook something, this is 100% doable in a coffee machine of your hotel room. This video has been an actual roller coaster because all the ones that I was so excited that I really thought they were going to work, 
they ended up disappointing me and all the ones that I was like mm, this is way like too much there's no way you can cook like a full meal in a coffee maker that actually worked which is honestly very typical of my videos if you haven't watched many this seems to happen almost every time so hopefully you guys still enjoyed it I had so much fun filming this and I think it was just the right time because obviously I'm traveling in Canada and I was like I don't really have my kitchen so what could I do here and this was my way of still making a food hacks video but from my hotel room if you liked it please don't forget to give this video a like it means a lot to me because it sort of lets me know if you want to watch more hotel room food hacks maybe don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on I know so many of you guys always come back every time I post a video but there's a huge percentage of people who are not subscribed to my channel yet every time I put up a video it doesn't mean that you have to watch it but at least you will be notified and you can still decide whether you want to watch my videos or not so I'd really appreciate that obviously if you like my videos if you don't there's a lot of other stuff to watch on YouTube no hard feelings I just want you guys to go and have a good time I mentioned this in the beginning of the video but basically I'm in Canada at the moment but I really want to make some videos here and it would be amazing if any of you guys have ever been to Canada or if any of you guys love the country if you could let me know in the comments section some video suggestions for things that I could film here and honestly if I take your idea I will actually give you credit and I will put like your social media or like your YouTube channel I love you guys I hope you guys had fun and I will see you on my next video which is probably gonna be in a few days bye bye